And then in the Azores, um, I was not prepared for the level of beauty that we encountered. Uh, there is a level of beauty that I've only experienced two, maybe three times in my life that sort of leaves you physically sick, like ill. It's so beautiful that your, your body is the weak link. Like you might think that sugar is tasty, but if you were to eat a bag of sugar, you'd probably be sick to your stomach. And I would say this was like so much beauty that it was at an almost pathological level and more than, more than I think my family could really take in. It's day two of our adventure. We finally got our scooter and we went for a ride full of excitement. Today's adventure holds a lot of surprises. We ran into some difficulties and we managed to visit some of the most beautiful places we have ever seen. Hi guys, we are up for another adventure. I am Christy. This is Michael. 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 <laughs> We just rented a scooter and we would like to give you a little bit of advice on how to get a good one and cheap one. Well, yeah, just advice. Just don't go to like main spots uh, where, you know, scooters are just on the main view. You need to actually know where to go. I will leave you link in description down below where we got our scooter for a very good price and now let's get into the adventure! Woo! Today we are visiting the crown jewel of Sao Miguel Island, the Furnas Lake. We done a beautiful hike to a waterfall and we visited Furnas where we had some food cooked in the actual volcano. Subscribe to my channel and help others to discover this beautiful place on earth. Hey Mikey, what do you think about the ride? Ah, uh, it was a little bit cool, but other than that, it was pretty awesome. Stunning, amazing. Good, yeah. I would say European Bali nature style, it's amazing. Yeah, I don't know what to compare it to yet, but yeah, it's a mixture of Asia and, and, and Europe. Yeah. <laughs> this place definitely have a lot of things to offer. Love the trees, it reminds me of twilight. That uh, moody green-blue color. The Chapel of Our Lady of Victories is a neo-gothic chapel built between 1877 and 1888. Later on we're gonna take the opportunity to visit its interior and observe its unmistakable construction. We're gonna have a walk straight forward. We are trying to find the waterfall. Okay, we found directions for the waterfall. Here they are. So here are the prices to enter the waterfall and if you're very thirsty and you didn't bring anything, you can also get here some water. Try this 3.5 kilometers out and back trail near the Furnas. We follow the main road towards the waterfall. We should be there soon. It's considered as a moderately challenging road. It takes an hour average to complete. This is a popular trail for walking. You can still enjoy some solitude during quieter times of the day. We caught a little rain along the way and we were trying to hide somewhere for a moment. But there's no roof. So we're gonna have a short break, have some nibbles. The trail is open year-round and is beautiful to visit any day. 
It's a very charming trail that leads to the beautiful waterfall of Salto do Rosal. This walk gets sometimes a little bit muddy. It's also very affordable to get here. It costs only 4 euro. Just be sure you arrive by 4.30 pm or they won't let you go in. But now we ran into a problem. Ahead of us was a unsupported wall and we were in danger of possible landslides. What? Okay, this is gonna be fun. Adventures, right? Woo! <laughs> and then what? Who knows me? I am very adventurous and no obstacle is a problem for me. I think that's that. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. It's the end of the road. End of, yeah. Check this out, guys. Like, yeah, we could. We could get up there, but yeah, it's, it's a bit dodgy there. There's a wall, unsupported. The ground was very wet and slippery and the ground was unstable. However, there were some plants along the side of the wall Thanks for my rock climbing skills. that I could hang on to and make my way up. With my rock climbing skills, this wasn't a problem. However, if you're just a genuine hiker, I wouldn't recommend going all the way up. Even though I made it all the way up, it was impossible to go down and see the waterfall. So I have decided I will show you the waterfall and fly down with my drone. Guys, I climbed up, I shaked, scared because I was really close to all the trees. It wasn't the easiest drone footage I've ever done, but oh my god, look at this goodness. I absolutely love it. Look at that mech. So beautiful. On the way back, I had to check out the interior of the chapel. Alright guys, the first stop is done. Now we're gonna jump on a scooter and go around the lake. See where the wind take us. <laughs> Let's go! Good. Let's go! We made a trip around the lake and we arrived on the other side. We found this beautiful volcanic furnace here. Hello, English, oh. Portuguese. 
Beautiful. We are about to embark on a unique coronary adventure. If you have a sweet tooth, you can grab yourself an ice cream or you can visit one of these cute souvenir shops. But this is not why we came here today. Time to have some snack or a lunch. We are about to have a completely new experience eating cooked food in the volcano. We head to the volcanic geysers, where locals use the natural heat to cook traditional meat that's called Pozido das Furnas. Hungry. Thank you. Thank you. This is a traditional uh, Azorian stew made in a volcano, volcanic heat, I guess. Watching the food being buried in a pot at the volcanic geysers was truly sensational. It's the true feast for the senses. Furnas, near the eastern end of São Miguel Island, has been and probably continues to be one of the most active and dangerous volcanoes in the Azores archipelago. Outside of our incredible stops around the island today, the scooter rides around this enormous beauty of a nature was one of the best things. After our gastronomic adventure, we visit the Miraduros or lookout points in San Miguel. From these vantage points, we are able to take breathtaking panoramatic views of the island. It's a vista unlike anything you've seen before. There is extreme amount of beauty every corner. It is a true paradise. On the way back to Ponta Delgada, we couldn't miss on this spot. The Goreana tea estate has been producing organic black, green and orange picoe teas since 1883. It's the only tea plantation in Europe and definitely a place to go when touring São Miguel. When visiting their estate near Ribeira Grande, you can taste firsthand the several types of tea, but also take a peek into the mesmerizing tea making 
making process inside the factory. This is the fourth time today we are getting rain. It's like a Melbourne weather. <laughs> this Miraduro is truly breathtaking. And I absolutely love the blue flowers. And with that, our incredible day is about to finish. But don't worry, next week we are coming back with the third episode. I am going to take you for a wander to the incredible abandoned Monte Palace Hotel in São Miguel. This hotel is overlooking the super picture perfect Sete Cidades Lagoon, the main attraction and the most popular place in the Azores Islands. Subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out on this. We will be traveling around the second biggest half of São Miguel. We're gonna share with you enormous amount of Miraduros on this side, another local cuisines and restaurants, and we also explore a small cute villages. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope that you learned heaps. And if you're planning to visit next year, hopefully you learned a little bit of a tips and tricks for your trip. If you like my videos, please share with your friends. And if you have any questions, feel free to express yourself down below in the comments. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. Bye!